what is up everyone the 25th genius here with another video i'm sorry that this video is a little later than i would have hoped i've just been very sick over the past week but slowly and surely i'm recovering <sighs> thank goodness with that being said let's get into the video so today we're going to talk about tower of god season 3 episode 41 chapter 458 and let me just say we're nine episodes away from chapter 50 which means we're in the halfway mark of season 3 for the 100th episode which i'm really really excited for again season three has been very intense has been really fire from the moment season three has been released so i'm very excited to see where this is going to go and what more the time we're going to explore but before that i do want to talk about this promotion that you missed out on if you um the Retire of God. So basically, Webtoons said, you know, literally, for the best Webtoon in the whole entire platform of Webtoons, if you just read 100 chapters, you will get five points. It is absolutely amazing. Like, literally, it's like they looked at my channel and they just knew I love Tower of God and they said, we'll just make this post to promote Tower of God. And I did do the promotion and fortunately I did get my five points, but I really want to talk about just how good this promotion was. It just gave you a chance to really read or try out Tower of God, which I went to back to the beginning and I did read some, um, I, I kind of moved around. So I read some stuff from the beginning and I read some stuff in the middle, some of my favorite um, uh, arcs in Tower of God. And honestly, it was just an amazing experience. I generally just fell in love with Tower of God over again and just showed me reasons why I love Tower of God so much. Now, in the beginning, I will say this. The artwork is not as good as the, the chapters now. I mean, the chapters now are like gorgeous. But the, and there's nothing wrong with the artwork of Tower of God in, in the past. But if you just really compare the two, definitely it's a big upgrade from what we know back in like a few years ago. With that being said, it was really good seeing the story, the plots, and the characters that gave me the reason to fall in love with the series in the first place. And I generally love it for that. Again, it was just a great experience. You missed out if you didn't do this promotion. You could literally, you could have just read 100 chapters, got five coins which you could use for anything that you wanted. Also, with that being said, upon with the promotion, you saw amazing artwork. Um, I guess it was from Sui himself. I can't show you a picture because I tried to uh, download it and um, they wouldn't let me download it. So, oh well. But you just saw some amazing pictures, you know, that rated your progress as you read all the chapters of Tower of God. But definitely, it was a great and incredible read. Um, you definitely should have just checked it out. So now, with that being said, let's get into the chapter. So I want to talk about Kalavan really quickly because I really love the symbolic um, a figure that Kalavan has become. Now, I'll say this. I love Kalavan, honestly. He's not one of my favorite characters, but I do like him for the villain that he represents. He's Now, he's very symbolic. You have to think of it this way. He was a squadron commander who failed in his mission, who got demoted. So his personality, his demeanor, even the way he looks reflects as just. But moreover, I also love how, like, just morale and just how personable, like, Kalaban truly is. Like, he has a very high standard. He has a very high morality, despite being a leader of the, of, of Jihad's army. He, is just, he just has a really good personality that I genuinely and utterly um, respect. And it really shows it in the wall with a forget-me-not part of Tower of God. Because you really see like how his character really fleshed out as he interacts with a different character that wasn't part of Jihad. So I think that was really good and that's a great opportunity um, for that. But I really just like his representation in this current arc because you really get to see another side of Kalaban that I really feel like other people just really miss out on. He's not just a, a villain, he's also, he's a soldier with a lot of high values that he even uses upon himself. So definitely I really just enjoy seeing that and I really just enjoy seeing all that in general. So, um, where are we? So we're in the part where Kane breaks down and she's tired of people back talking her sister she is tired of the, the crap basically that she has received and that her sister receives after she, her sister paid an ultimate sacrifice now she requests the help of Kalaban, which again i'm only more excited because that means we're getting closer to bam versus Kalaban, which i can't wait to see um just because i just want to see do these two titans powers really collide so basically the two of them are going to to the tower where her her sister is so that way that she can unlock 
um, her sister. And what I really like about this little interaction at the end is the fact that one of the guards um, who um, basically was guarding really respected Kane so much that he couldn't fulfill her wishes and he chose to fight. And I like what Kalma said at the end, you'll know why I said that once I hit you or why I gave you the respect, which again, I just generally just love Kalavan and his just his personality and his just interactions. Like he, it's like he's a character that knows that he's strong, but it's okay to acknowledge other people's strengths no matter where they are in life. But definitely Kalavan is one of the more broken characters as is, as he is one of the top hundred high rankers on par with Ji Sing Ha. So again. It was just really interesting at that point. And of course, you know, we have the worst villain of the entire series, How Quinn gets his, his thing to shine. Now, I will say this. While I don't like How Quinn at all, like, I just don't like, I just think he's the, a weak character that I will call, like, the hype character, where it's like, you're, you're made to be strong, but you're really not strong. But I really do respect his sword style. His sword style is very much on par. And that's one of the things that I do like. His, his sword style is very beautiful. And it's very like interactive to say the least and so it's really good to just see like this white character um, just really use his powers to full extent and what how really does and this is why I would say how is weak well how really does it just sets up how it sets up the power scale for the future events to come so for example um, in this chapter um, I believe hats had said well if he's if this monster is strong are the other monsters stronger than him? Like, there's no way. Like, are they really that strong? Which again, all it does is just set the power scale to sh to really let us know how strong these characters really truly are. Which again, Tower of God seems to do that a lot by really like setting up their characters to be very very strong, overpowered characters, just for them to have bam, you know, win. But again, I really like that because there is a, a general rule that I really do respect the Tower of God has, where rankers are generally more powerful because they have more experience and they went up the tower over time to become strong. So that's generally the rule. So really regulars who barely just started climbing the tower, it's really hard for them to go up against people who have tons of experience. But then there's also the thing that breaks the rules, like anything called gifts and abilities, and that's one thing that Bam has. So with that being said, Bam is already really broken. With that being said, I think that talent and that rule, and the fact that Bam is in the regular, he is in the regular. So that all that's gonna play into basically the next chapter. So what is gonna happen at this point? Again, Calavon is going to fight the guard, so we'll just see um, from that. Well, if you wanna see, you can just use fast pass, but again, I just won't tell you the fast pass stuff because I want it to be a surprise. So with that being said, that is the end of the, my Tower of God review. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe, but make sure you like and subscribe to your favorite webtoon because it helps us out a lot. With that being said, I thank you for watching and listening, and I will see you in the next video.